Hey people, John here from Fast Films, and today we're going through a 2018 crime thriller movie called, Journal 64. The movie starts with a girl named Ned Hermanson running away from her dad to meet her boyfriend and they make out, but her dad comes to take her away. In the next scene, two policemen named Carl Mork and Assad are seen discussing with each other. Assad asks Carl if he will be fine as he will be leaving to work elsewhere, and Carl shows no sentiments which makes Assad leave. After that, Carl goes to a pub looking unhappy, then goes outside and sees some drivers arguing. One of the drivers challenges him and Carl beats him up. Up next, in Corsor Harbor 1961, a man named Nate brings Net to a woman named Gitta Charles to take her to Sprago. Up next, two girls, Nor and her friend go to meet a nurse for an anonymous abortion by Dr. Kurt Wad. In the next scene, we see some men go to demolish a wall in a home put up for real estate. Meanwhile, at the hospital, Nor lies on the table to get her pregnancy terminated. In the home being refurbished, one of the men named Torsten starts to break a wall and the real estate agent named Keld looks through the wall to find decaying bodies. After that, at the police station of Department Q, a police officer comes for an interview to fill up Assad's position. Another agent named Back comes to speak about a new case he got, which makes Carl leave. Back tells Assad that Carl is trying to take over his case, and he asks Carl, who doesn't believe Back can handle it. Carl and Assad go to the scene and are told that Gitta Charles is the tenant. The scene has three bodies on a dinner table. Carl notices one knocked down chair amidst the bodies which interest him. Next, we go back to the past and see Miss Gitta Charles take Ned to the girl's home in Sprago. Ned is examined by a doctor named Kurt Wad who asks her about her plans for the future, and she tells him about her plans to marry her, her boyfriend named Tage. The doctor tells Nett that her father has given them custody of her and she may not return home for years, which makes her cry. Later, we see some reporters at the scene of the murder in downtown Copenhagen, and they give a report of the whole thing, while an old woman whose identity is unknown watches. In the next scene, we go to the past and see Miss Charles clean Ned up. Next, we go back to the present and the investigators report to Carl that one of the victims is Ned Hermanson who was 60 years old at her time of death. Later on, Carl, Assad, and Back speak to their boss named Marcus Jacobson about the case. They establish Gitta Charles as a suspect but they say that no one has seen her. They identify two of the victims as Ned Hermanson and Philip Norvig. They decide to investigate Philip's wife. Assad and Carl meet Mie Norvig, Philip's wife. Carl asks her why she reported him missing and then later say he had left her. She tells them he sent her a letter saying that he has fallen in love with someone else. They ask about Gitta Charles, and Mie tells her Phillips was the defense attorney of the girl's home in Sprago where Gitta worked. Later on, we see Miss Charles take Ned to her room and tell her her roommate is Rita. Ned and Rita speak for a while. At the police station, Rose identifies Rita Nielsen who was an escort declared missing in 2006, and she says she has found no information. Rose tells them that Gitta Charles has an offshore account that pays the rent of the house. Carl and Assad assume Gitta Charles eliminated the girls and Philip but they don't know the motive. After that, the Spanish police go to apprehend Gitta Charles but she has escaped. At the police station, Rose informs Carl and he orders that the search radius be expanded to find Gitta Charles. In the next scene, back at the girl's home in Sprago, Rita offers Ned some intoxicating drug called Henbane and takes advantage of her while Gitta Charles watches. In the next scene, Carl, Rose, and Assad head to Sprago to investigate. The tour guide named Brandt shows them around the girl's home. Brandt tells them the case against the home didn't go to court, so they weren't in the police archives but can be in the public records. In the next scene, Rose tells Assad she's not going to forgive him for leaving her with Carl. After that, in the public record office, they find out the name of a doctor called Kurt Wad who one of the girls tried to sue for forceful sterilization. In the next scene, we see Dr. Wad give a speech about how age limitation on his experiments on sterility is removed with Brandt in the crowd. Brandt later calls Rose and asks to meet her the next day. Up next, Assad goes to a store to buy something and he notices the store attendant named Nor complain of a bellyache, and she tells him she had terminated her pregnancy. Assad tells her father she may be sick and needs to rest. After that, Marcus asks about Gitta Charles and they tell him Dr. Kurt Wad is the only link they have on the case. Marcus tells them how Kurt helped his wife conceive. After that, they go to meet Dr. Kurt Wad and he tells them he doesn't know the whereabouts of Gitta Charles or has any information. Carl notices a picture of dead people on his table and Kurt states how much he likes the picture of dead people sitting around a dinner table. Meanwhile, Kurt's wife named Beate comes in. They ask him about the lady who filed a charge against him, and he says he doesn't remember much about the case. Assad says he doesn't believe Dr. Kurt's remorse for the abortions, and Carl tells Assad he once had an abortion done. In the next scene, we see Rita and Nett knitting. 
Rita says she knows that Ned is pregnant, and she advises that she runs away before they find out about her baby. Later that night, Rita takes Ned to a fisherman named Hans to help her escape. Hans tells Ned to strip off her clothes, and he tries to physically abuse her. Rita goes to tell Dr. Kurt about Ned's intention to escape, and they come to take her to the punishment room. The next day, Carl and Assad go to meet Brandt and he tells them about a conspiracy theory that Kurt Wad sterilizes young girls without their knowledge and that other people are supporting him they ask him for proof and he shows them a video of girls who get abortion anonymously. Assad realizes that it's Noor on the video and goes to meet her. Assad and Carl take Noor to a hospital to check her state. Assad asks Noor for the name of the doctor who performed her procedure and she refuses to tell him until he promises not to tell her parents. He promises, and she tells him that it is Kurt Wad. Assad tells her Kurt has ensured she can have children and has performed sterilization on her. Noor gets annoyed and leaves. Marcus receives a call from Carl who requests a list of doctors behind botched abortions since 1970. Later that night, Dr. Kurt Wad holds a secret meeting with his group to tell them they'll handle their leak and asks them to keep a wall of silence with the police. In the next scene, Brandt calls Rose and tells her he thinks they are onto him and she tells him she will come to get him. After that, Carl receives info from Rose that all the doctors on Brandt's list used Norvig as their lawyer. While Carl and Assad speak, Carl figures out that someone wanted them to know the identity of the victims at the dinner table. In the next scene, Brandt's hideout gets infiltrated by a masked man. After that, Carl and Assad go to meet Mie Norvig and ask her if Philip is anti-immigrants and she agrees to that. She tells them that Philip's records are at home and allows them to take them. In the next scene, Rose goes to Brandt's hideout and finds his body. The killer attacks her, but she attacks him back and makes him flee. Meanwhile, Assad and Kurt go through Philip's work and find Ned Hermanson's dossier. Immediately, some men on a bike throw a Molotov on their car which makes them overturn. The assailant tries to finish them off, but Carl attacks him and he escapes. Meanwhile, Gitta Charles is seen traveling on a bus. Next, we see Ned Hermanson tied in the punishment room and Dr. Kurt comes to meet her and tries to take advantage of her, but she bites him. Later on, Ned is taken away to where Kurt sterilizes her. Later on, Carl, Assad, Back, and Marcus go and meet Rose at the scene of Brandt's death. Carl and Assad tell Marcus about their suspicion that it is a group, but Marcus doesn't believe that and says they can't make a move without having sound evidence. Carl goes to take care of something, and Assad confronts him about hiding something about Gitta Charles, but Carl tells him nothing which annoys Assad. Assad later tells Carl he is sick of his crap and that they're no longer a team. In the next scene, we see Ned wake up after her sterilization. An announcement is made that the Danish government has closed the girl's home which makes the girls happy. Up next, we see Carl meet the woman from the bus and he realizes that she is Ned Hermanson. She sprays him with pepper spray and escapes, and Carl gets into a taxi to follow her. In the next scene, Noor goes back to Kurt's hospital to confront the nurse that she can have children. Later on, Assad goes to meet Noor's friend and ask her about Noor's whereabouts and she tells him she has gone back to the clinic. Carl finds Ned on a cruise and speaks with her. Carl asks Ned if she had finished off Rita, Gitta Charles, and Philip Norvig and she agrees to it. In the next scene, Assad goes to Kurt's hospital to ask after Noor, but Kurt says she has been sent back home. Rose informs Assad that Noor's phone is still in the vicinity, and Assad goes back to investigate. In the cruise, Ned tells Carl she was filled with hatred against them and had gone back to seek vengeance. She tells him of how she planned the death of Gitta Charles. Carl asks her why she didn't also take out Kurt, but she tells him Tage came back for her, and love caused her to let go. Carl tells her he's not here to put her away but promises her that he'll apprehend Kurt. Carl receives a call from Rose who tells him that she's not heard from Assad, and Carl hurries back. At Kurt's hospital, Assad meets a policeman named Gunnar and finds Noor lying on Kurt's table. Kurt orders Gunnar to attack Assad which he does. Kurt frames the situation to look like Assad tried to eliminate him and Noor had committed suicide. Up next, Carl gets to the building and runs into Gunnar. He notices Gunnar is bleeding and figures out that he is the man who attacked the motorbike. Gunnar tries to attack him, but Carl eliminates him. Inside, Kurt tries to finish off Assad but Noor hits him. Kurt tries to attack Noor, but Carl comes to her rescue. Up next, some surgeons operate on Assad while Carl waits to hear any news. Carl wakes up and watches some news about Kurt Wad's group arrest while he watches over Assad. Assad later wakes up and Carl asks him to come back to Department Q in the final scene, Carl, Rose, and Assad are seen working together. Carl goes out and meets a woman in a bar and goes on to speak to her.